Good afternoon and welcome back. Today, um, well, I put out a short a few days ago and it seemed to spark a lot of interest on bodywork or panel patch panel replacement. So uh, what I'm going to do is I've got this panel here around the bed uh, that needs to be replaced. And you can see there's one little bitty pinhole right here. So, uh, and then it's rested here. So what I normally do is I go about an inch or so all the way around where it's rusted out. I make my marks, I cut this out, and then I'll go and uh, do the patch panel the same way. But what I'm gonna do is take, take and use a level, and I go, like I said, about an inch, going to be kind of, well the bed's not sitting level so, but it, it doesn't matter. And what I do is I make my marks, let me go back just a little bit so I'll be in the past the paint, okay, or into the paint, it's easier to see the mark, and then I come all the way up to here, slide my level forward, trying to keep straight the same line. And then I'm going to go all the way past. Okay, and then like I said here, go about an inch. So this is going to be my mark here. Come down. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. This will be my mark. I come down. And then I'm going to come across right about here. So this section right here is what we're going to remove and replace it with a new panel. Now, this is the panel that they gave us. I don't need all this metal. Now you see why my lines are here. My line's here and my line there. So, what I'm going to do is this. We're going to clamp, clamp this panel to it, okay? Alright, loosen this up so I don't damage the new panel. Like so. held in place. And what we're going to do, make sure our body line, this, is, this panel is not straight. I want the ride. I got it right there to the body line. So that right there, that looks like it's good on the body line. So we're going to put our clamp back on. take our tape and transfer our marks from the bed to this panel. Okay, so just take a straight line you can eyeball it, it's fine. And I'm going to the top of this line Actually, I'll tell you what, let's do it this way. I'm going to go right here like this. Okay. And I'm going to come down this way. Same, same thing. Like so. Now, what we're going to do from here is I will take and cut on the outside of this tape line. And that will be the piece 
that will cut uh, go back into where I've already got it marked. And if you cut to the outside, you'll have a little extra that you can kind of fine tune it. And like I said in the short, you want to cut up to the spot. So we're going to get this cut out, and then we'll come back, and then we'll put this piece up here, and then we're going to trace it out, just like I said on the outside of these lines, and then we'll take the uh, little cutoff wheel and cut this out, and then we'll fit the new panel, a uh, new piece in here, and see how it looks. So stay tuned for that. Okay, we are back with the piece. And that was a lot of metal, you know, to send just for a small, but better to have more than not enough. Excuse me. Anyway, so what I've done is I've cut my panel to fit the where I want to replace. I've taken the EDP coating off everything where I'm going to weld, right around here. And I've already took, uh, taken my hole punch and I've punched holes in the bottom where it welds up under here for my spot welds. So the next step is to get your panel in place. And yeah, I'm a little longer, but that's fine. We're going to clamp it. You want to clamp it tight. Not enough that you damage your piece, but you want to hold it tight in place so you can trace it and then you'll know where you're going to go. That'll work. And you see that we're, we're nice and uh, flush, there's no gaps or anything. We've got a nice line here. Alright, so we're where we want to be. And I always round the edges right here where, where I'm going to weld it in because if you have a square edge, it has a tendency to burn through. It's really hard to weld. Now, take your marker and just follow this piece all the way around. Get it right inside the wheel well. Alright. Then you can take your clamps off and there's your here's your cutout area right here. And like I said, I went I'm a little over, but that's fine. Now, I like taking masking tape, and I'm going to go lay it right on that line, maybe a little below it, right there, like so. I'm going to do the same here. The reason I use masking tape, you can take your cutoff wheel, what I do with the tool, here we go. You can take your cutoff wheel and you lay it right here and you follow whichever edge of the tape you want to cut, depending on how you make your panel. You cut it all and just follow that line all the way down. Alright, and I'm not going to worry about the edges here being rounded because my panel, my patch is going to be rounded and that's going to, that'll help me out. So, uh, I'll do a little bit of this and show you what I'm talking about and then I'm sure you don't want to hear this while I cut this panel out, but 
Just lay it right here on the side of your line, your tape. All right, um, I've got the, the replacement panel just temporary in place, well, just held in place right for the moment using refrigerator magnets. And the reason I'm using refrigerator magnets is uh, hopefully it will hold both pieces kind of flush. So wherever it's flush, I can put a tack weld and then work my way around to where it is flush then I can manipulate the panel, either push it or pull it, to uh, keep the body line straight. Because these panels are, are compound curved. They curve in and out and down. So if you take your time and don't rush it, just you can do it. It's, it's not that hard if you've got the tools. So anyway, so that's where we are with this. Uh, we don't have much more to do. We'll we'll get it all together. So uh, it is late. I'm tired. I'm gonna go home eat some ice cream. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for part two of patch panel replacement in the 82 square body. Have a great night. We'll see you later.